Hey everybody, you Yusuke92 here. Uh, playing the demo of In Invisible, I think it's called. It's uh, an RPG created from the Skull Girl guys. As you can tell by the art style, it's a fun game. Uh, I run through the whole demo in this whole video. Like this game is really, really cool. Actually, uh, I love the art style of Skull Girl. I'm a big fan of Skull Girls actually. But we're here for the NXT review for uh, November 3rd, 2015. First match we have is Asuka versus Cameron. It's good to see uh, Cameron. Uh, I like, I'm actually alone in this boat. I'm actually a fan of Cameron. I think she's actually uh, pretty good at the heel stick. When she turned heel, I thought she was fantastic. I enjoy her heel work. I don't know why. It might be the theme song. I love her theme song. It's hilarious, but... I'm happy to see her back in NXT, and she actually did pretty good in this match, because her highest problem was selling. She had the Eva Marie problem. She didn't know how to sell, but she sold amazingly in this match, actually. Asuka beat the shit out of her, basically, so... Cameron slaps Asuka in the beginning of the match, and Asuka does this awesome thing where... Cameron slaps her, and you see the hand still, like, being extended... And fucking Asuka still catches the hand while being slapped, by the way. She's selling the slap, but says, fuck it. Takes her hand and starts, gets her in a cross arm breaker, about to break her hand off. So, that was pretty awesome. Everyone's like, holy shit. Like, this is like, he's gonna fucking kill you, brother. Uh, Asuka with all the butt-based offense. She's been taking some, you know, some points off gold dust or the funky dragon guy from New Japan. Just all the butt moves. This girl's fucking charisma is through the roof, like... You don't- you- you usually don't see a lot of the Japanese wrestlers, especially the women, have charisma. This girl has it all, man. Wrestling ability, charisma, looks... Like, this girl's fantastic. She's gonna be fucking big when she hits the main roster, hopefully. <laughs> Next, we have the- basically, Asuka wins with the crossface chicken wing. Pretty good match. I thought Cameron looked good. I hope she stays in NXT because I feel like this girl could be really good as a heel. She doesn't have to be the greatest wrestler ever. She's okay at what she does, but she's getting better at doing what she couldn't do before and that was selling. So, good for her. Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson with a promo backstage. The, AKA the mechanics. Talking about how they took out Big Kaz and, you know, he's not that tall when you take his legs out. Uh, and, uh, they have a wheelchair, and they basically say this is for the Vaudevillains. It had the Vaudevillains' name on it. So, they, they said, give the wheelchair to the Vaudevillains because they're going to need it. And I was like, damn, that's cold, son. You don't, you don't. So, I kind of like their shtick. The, let's destroy the legs out of every opponent we have. So, I kind of like that. A lot of promos on this NXT, by the way. A lot of backstage promos. My favorite tag team in WWE today. Probably my favorite tag team in, like, all of wrestling right now. These guys are, like, my favorite. And actually, like, Red Dragon and, like, the Time Splitters and all that shit. Chad Gable and Jason Jordan. Chad Gable is fucking, like, gold. They talk about how they want to be the best tag team ever. And they actually call themselves the greatest tag team ever. The world's greatest tag team and Jason Jordan just goes, nah, you're not supposed to say that. Like, we talked about that. And Chad Gable goes, oh, yeah. Because right away, basically just Charlie Hawks and Shelton Benjamin, how they're the same exact tag team. I thought that was hilarious. It's little things like that. That's the reason I love NXT. Because you can just tell, like, like they wouldn't be allowed to do that in the main roster. Mention, like, fucking Charlie Hawks and Shelton Benjamin. That's fucking awesome. I thought it was great. Uh, Chad Gable did my favorite thing where he whispers sick. I fucking Jason Jordan, I think it's super creepy. I do it all the time, it's hilarious. Uh, they called out the Ascension. They want to be the greatest tag team ever, you know, the other guys. But they want to take down the greatest, most dominant tag team. So, yay for the Ascension coming back to NXT. The Ascension, when they come back to NXT for those little one-off matches, they are so fucking hyped and so happy. And the crowd loves the Ascension over there, like with the ya and all that shit, so good stuff. Then we get one of the most random matches ever. We get Bull Dempsey with a new theme song, which I actually like. I'm going to miss his other theme song, though, but... Versus Angelo Dawkins, you know, the stirring guy. Uh, Angelo Dawkins, again, I, I like that he was showing more charisma. 
I feel like this guy could be really charismatic and funny. Uh, he's out there with um, Sawyer Fulton, a.k.a. tag team partner. They're teasing some sort of breakup between these guys. How, like, um, Angelo Dawkins, you know, doesn't really care that he loses, you know. He's just there. He's chill. He's cool. But, like, Sawyer Fulton's, like, angry and shit. Sawyer Fulton's actually a pretty good wrestler. Have you seen his work before? He's actually pretty good. He has some unique offense, I'll tell you that. Uh, Bull hits a shtick, you know, punches and all that stuff. Bull went to the top rope butt dive. I was like, okay, yay, Bull. Uh, then we get the Vaude Villains backstage promo. Says they're not gonna, not gonna lose, basically. So they're gonna take down the mechanics and blah, 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 blah and all that stuff. Uh, Eva Marie versus Carly. This chick named Carly, she's from Jersey. Uh, she's actually really kind of cool. She's actually uh, out there, and this game is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I do like this game. Uh, then we have... So, yeah, Eva Marie, holy. This is bad. This was... Bocce is all botch. Just botches left and right. She used the new finish where she botched. Ch crowd was chanting, please retire. They did a fucked up chant that I even said, damn, that's mean. They chanted, please don't hurt her. How uh, you know, even Marie knocked out Carmella and all that stuff, so. Yeesh. So, this match was bad. Like, Eva's getting worse somehow. Like, she started off decent. Not even decent. And now she got worse. They need to pull out of this woman before she kills fucking the roster. I don't know, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. Then... Emma and Dana Brooke backstage. Emma says she's not scared of Asuka. Actually, Emma wants a match with Asuka, and so does Dana Brooke. But Emma tells, tells Dana Brooke, you're going to have to wait, girl. Emma going first, so I, I that's probably going to be a good match. Hopefully, that it's not like a squash. Hopefully, they let Emma get some shit in, because Emma's an amazing fucking wrestler. Then, we have the main event. Apollo Crews versus Finn Balor for the NXT title. They treat it like a big deal. Match starts off with a roll-up. Apollo Crews tries to roll him up in the first two seconds of the match, saying, like, ha, I can beat your ass any time. Crews hits his amazing drop kick. With all his shenanigans, all that stuff. Then fucking, um... Finn hits his amazing dropkick, too. Not as amazing as Cruz, so... Finn wearing down Cruz the rest of the match. He was wrestling a little bit heel in the beginning. You know, wearing him down, getting aggressive and all that stuff. Finn hits his outside dive on Apollo Cruz. Cruz with a follow-away slam Samoan drop that looked actually very interesting. Right now, the crowd is picking up. They're landing all their shit. Cruz... Hits Finn with an enziguri. Finn no sells it and then right away goes for the sling blade. They actually did this a lot. This match felt very, very indie ish, New Japan ish, which I liked with the not selling. Because sometimes not selling can be done right, you know what I'm saying? Finn hits the reverse Bloody Sunday. Fucking, uh, about the. Actually, a very sick reverse Bloody Sunday. Probably the best one he's done since he's been in WWE. Cruz rolls out of the way out of the double foot stomp, aka the coup de gras. Cruz hits Finn with a bicycle kick. Finn no sells it, turns around, hits the Pele kick, and people are chanting, holy shit, this match is going crazy. The match is so good, like, I can't wait till these guys actually have a real match. But then, Baron Corbin, BC, Young God himself comes in. <laughs> oh, God, Baron Corbin comes in, destroys Apollo Cruz, takes down... Finn Balor, but all his aggression is aiming at Apollo Crews because, you know, that's the guy who took his title away. I mean, his chance to go for the title in the Battle Royal. Uh, Samoa Joe comes through the save. Samoa Joe uh, doesn't even hit uh, uh, Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin just runs away like a little pussy and all that stuff. Then Samoa Joe is just like fidgeting, looking at Finn Balor. Like he's about to kill him, and there you go. Samoa Joe finally turns heel, destroys Finn Balor, gets him up for the muscle buster and says, I am the one who did this to you. Like, he wants him to know that Joe is the one who did it. Drops him with the muscle buster. People are chanting, why, Joe, why? 
So, really great match. Like, Apollo Crews, he's fucking, like, the man. He proved that he is not a fucking, like, you know, like, it wasn't early. So, he's handling the fucking business. Uh, that was NXT. Really good NXT. Can't wait to see. They Hopefully, they don't fuck up the Joe heel turn. You know, they actually explain it with good reasons and all that stuff.
You can open it. Oh, oh. 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 Oh.
Huh? Huh? She, uh, has to stay up tomorrow. Where the fuck were you and mom? Or were you and mom? Oh. They took her what? Body. And my ten dollars of gym money. I'll play it. <laughs> Ooh. 
there. Shell. Rodi! 